we will study consumer preferences and properties of the feasible set under the chapter of consumer behavior when we say the feasible set and the properties of the feasible set we should keep in our focus that the main problem that is faced by a consumer is the optimization means the optimization of the resources to attain all the wishful list or we can say the multiple ends so the optimization problems they have several constraints they cannot be utilized by as such so whenever there are the several constraints we are having various linear inequality and these linear inequalities they are solved by a certain available set that solution set that is available with the consumer that is called the feasible set for the consumer this consumer's feasible set has a number of the properties that are various relevant issues for the analysis of the optimal consumption decision these properties they are actually the essence of the feasible set that makes possible the solution of the consumption decision or even the same it can be utilized by a producer during the decision of the production now coming to the properties we are having in our hand the main four properties are of a feasible set one the non emptiness second closeness third boundedness and fourth convexity now we will discuss these properties one by one when we say non emptiness as it is very much clear by the name it means that set of the feasible properties it should not be empty it mean there should be certain th thing in our set aur dusre alfaz mein hum kahein ki jis tarah hum pehle padhte rahe hain ki ek khali set hota hai aur ek wo set jiske andar koi na koi unit available hota hai to feasible sets ki basic property ye hai ki iska set khali nahi hona chahiye either any one solution or any one element that should be available then we will say otherwise there can be more than one solutions or there can be more than one opportunities but being available of only a one it will make it a non empty coming to the second that is the boundedness as the topic tells us the boundedness means that this feasible set will have certain boundaries or it will have certain two points or the edges so we can say that this feasible set will have two boundaries ek taraf se hum kahenge ki iski ek lower boundary hogi is feasible set ki aur usi tarike se ek iski upper boundary hogi the limit of the lower boundary agar hum isko kahe to wo non negative honi chahiye it means pehle humne agar kaha ki wo non negative means empty nahi hone chahiye usme kuch na kuch unit hona chahiye aur jab hum kehte hain ki non negative तो नॉन नेगेटिव से अबव नंबर हमेशा अगर हम कहें तो वो जीरो से हम अगर कहें तो लेकिन हम जब देखते हैं तो कोई भी जो प्राइस है मार्केट में वो जीरो नहीं होती तो इट मींस इट विल स्टार्ट विद एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीगर एंड दैट इंटीगर कैन बी अ वेरी स्मॉल नंबर नो इशू एंड लाइक वाइज दिस द अपर लिमिट विल बी देयर बट देयर विल नॉट बी द इन्फिनिटी सो इट विल बी अ फाइनेट केस starting from a very small number to any large number but that will be the bounded property of the feasible set when we come to the third property that is a uh, closeness this is called a set will be closed if all the points on the boundaries and the other points available in the set they all are included as the elements of the set so if any point that lies on the boundary of the feasible set that will not be excluded rather it will be included in the feasible set then we will say the feasible set is totally closed because the uh, available points on the boundaries they are very much important for our decision making because they 
make possible the process of optimization and it may make possible when the constraints they are very tight and when the constraints are very limited particularly and even we, if we consider even in future we will study the corner solution then we consider this that even sometimes the consumption decision or the optimization even it is possible a very corner type of the point. Now coming to the convexity. So when we say convexity it means any set of the point it will be convex. When the pair of the points available on that plane or that curve or that line that can be joined from one line to the other and it joins in that manner that all the other points available in that set they comes within that set so means when any point it will not be excludable so it means that set will be convex and when all the points they will be covered within those points that we have joined on that plane that set will be called convex and that is the main property of a feasible set. So considering the various effects of the changes in M means money income and the prices on the feasible set because the feasible set is available related to opportunities and any consumer when it has various opportunities in hand it is related to the money that is within the pocket of a consumer and the other limiting factor that is the prices of the commodity. So when the price will change, consumer will respond through the change in the quantity or due to the change in the consumption bundle. So various combinations that a consumer will make in response to change in income or in response to change in prices, these are combinations, these are available uh, combinations of the goods or the bundle they will be the available opportunities to the consumer. So if income will increase or decrease or if price will increase or decrease consumer feasible set may change either it will expand or either it will reduce. In the slide we can view there are the three cases pertaining to the feasible set. In the case A, we can see that there are the two prices and there is the income M. And we can say that the price P1 remains the same of the commodity at X axis. Price P2 remains same in the both lines at the Y axis. But the only change that is evident that is M0, that is the original income, and that has shifted to m1 and when the income increases from m0 to m1 so that is the case of increase in income we see that the visible set it moves to the right and it is the case of expansion in the visible set Likewise, there is an other feasible set option when income remains the same but now the price has changed and in this case the price of the commodity at x axis and that is x1 that changes and that changes in the form that it shifts our cut point or the axis from here to inside it means when our numerator that is m0 it remains the same but our denominator has changed from p1 to p1 prime it means the commodity price has increased. So this increase in the price of x1 shifts the feasible set from here to inside but the price of commodity at y axis means x2 price remains same. Now there is another case 
when the price of the commodity x1 and the price of the commodity x2 both changes and they change in the manner that now the total feasible set it shifts from this point to inside when we compare this case c with the case b we can see that it is the case of shift of budget constraint or our constraint set or the feasible set and this is not the case of shifting rather it is the case uh, case in which only one point has moved so it will not be the case of total shifting likewise this there can be an other case when the price of the both commodities it decreases so if it will be the case we can draw here that if the price it will decrease in the both case and it can move toward right side so it will be the case of expansion of the feasible set and there can be another case when the increase in the prices of the commodity that is in one direction means either it is decreasing but not decreasing with the same context or the same magnitude so then we can say have this feasible set and now the price of the two has decreased but with different percentage so we can have like this or at the same time we can have like this when y will be shifting more and x will be shifting less so these can be a various set of the opportunities that we can draw keeping in view the information provided to us thank you